All right, so let's uh, vlog here, shall we? Uh, let me find the page that I was on. So I have these ideas um, of connectivity and how everything is related and the systems that are re repeated on the layers of reality. Uh, And this is where I'm talking from at the moment. Um, <coughs> it's uh, being able to identify. Um, nope, sorry. Those are my notes. I thought that was it. That is oh, here it is. No, this is the right one. Okay, so. All those points are nodes, unconnected, individual things. And uh, I want to talk about um, digital connectivity. Save on multiple drives, uh, uh, save on storage by use of multiple drives, dividing data to these multiple drives um, and by, by the number of users in a shared network plus the storehouses of drives interconnected via wireless and, and cable um, a maintenance protocol an OS for the connectivity um, uh, a system that allows for the removal of damaged nodes without loss of data, um, which is difficult because you could have you could have you could have this this problem that affects many nodes at once and it just destroys what data is in there. But the problem or the the idea is that um, locally the storage um, it may only be a couple of things. It's it's a it's a way of preventing masses of amounts of data storage loss because the information is spread out over um, let's say a geography that is held within an area that makes it accessible at an efficient speed. Um, let me show you what I mean by that. If you have a network of connected nodes, you'd focus on The limitations of getting information from certain distances at certain speeds, because we have uh, we're going to want these uh, capable computers of being able to access information all at the same time. So it's like uh, instead of instead of a flash drive, it's not a flash drive. It is a visual aid. Instead of having a flash drive that you plug into your box, plug it into your computer, and you have this information off of a static storage system. It is um, it's unconnected otherwise. It's mobile. However, if we had all storage devices, aside from private ones, um, <clears throat> that could communicate with the network. For example, my computer can communicate with my wireless. However, my, that makes my, my computer is wireless. My network is wireless. It plugs into a server uh, through, through the LAN wire. But there are wireless computers, wireless networks in the area. I'm talking about connecting those wireless hubs to each other. I'm talking about connecting the computers themselves to each other. And then there's this the subconscious system within the computer 
that connects all of these net all of the, uh, it connects all of these pieces now this 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 dramatically increases our um, our cell network let's say uh, we have these towers for cellular phones that go into the cell uh, to the cell phone now imagine if those cell phones those towers were talking to our computers and into our hubs our wireless hubs and all of that was on the network all of those hard drives were connected that computer systems all the individual computer system were connected by one greater system that was uh, that that was embedded um, fractally within the system so one computer is doing its job and it's communicating with the network around it and all of those are doing the same thing so we have this neural net that is then developed and we have what could possibly be the start or this framework for the um, the self-conscious digital media or digital mind frame um, um, I also wanted to say that uh, if you have just one drive you've put all your eggs in one basket and there's uh, the likelihood of loss is greater if you're missing if you're missing a quantum of information on your picture you're not going to notice you might lose larger portions um, comparably to virus or disease um, but these are all measures that we can account for these are things that we can look ahead at and resolve and then also if we haven't we can take action when it happens data loss is it, it's it's as important and fragile as human life itself um, because we've created a giant memory bank we're putting all of all of us all of ourselves into this memory bank but we don't have a way of securing that uh, and, and maintaining it for future generations for the possible uh, the possibility of surviving after us when we're gone so we need to find these solutions that uh, create a a, a non-degradable um, memory system, uh, non-pollutant and balanced within the environment. I've got to go now. I'll have to get back to reading this later. Where's that stop button?